Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I've said it before, I'll say it again. It seems like every single week at this point, we are getting new leaks and new rumors about either Modern Warfare 2 or Warzone 2 or both. And it is the same story this week. Over the past few days, we've seen some new leaks, some new rumors surface regarding some potential MW2 gameplay that was out there. Also some new information on DMZ and some really really good news regarding the state of mw2 as of right now as we get into it all today if you enjoy the video at any point let me know by dropping a like on it really does help the channel grow and of course if you're new here or if you have not already subscribed every single day i got you covered with all things going on in cod whether it is mw2 warzone vanguard or anything else in between you'll find it all right here so feel free to hit that sub button and turn on those post notifications so real quick same spiel as always every single time we talk about leaks we talk about rumors here on the channel just want to remind you guys nothing is set in stone unless we see official posts from activision from call of duty from infinity ward or anybody official this is just leaks this is just rumors at the end of the day which means it is all subject to change it could be scrapped it could be altered in some way shape or form so take everything with a grain of salt don't you know take all this information in as 100 this is how it's going to be that out of the way, the majority of the information that we're talking about today either stems from Ralph's Valve, who we've talked about many times on the channel. He's building a very credible track record. Oftentimes, him and Tom Henderson are talking about the same leaks. The other part of the leaks and rumors today stems from the Ghost of Hope, who again has been a pretty credible uh, data miner and leaker in the community. So take that for what it is. First things first, let's talk about the overall state of MW2 COD 2022. According to a handful of different leakers and uh, insiders in the community, the same sentiment seems to be stemming from all of them, and that is the fact that Modern Warfare 2 currently looks to be the most polished and the most finished and the most ahead of schedule game at this point in the year that they have ever seen. Previously, these same sort of things were said about MW 2019, but now they're saying it's even better than that game was at this point in the year where it is looking polished. You know, it doesn't look like they're having a ton of trouble with certain things being implemented into the game. It doesn't look like they're falling behind, which essentially just means that at launch, we should be expecting a game that is quite different from what we had with Cold War and Vanguard, where it is plagued with bugs and glitches and it's just not working correctly and clearly was rushed and was not finished in time. It definitely seems like it's going to be a polar opposite situation with Modern Warfare 2 here, where it seems to be very polished, very complete, even when we're so far out from launch still, that is great news to hear. And, you know, we've sort of heard the same sentiment over the past couple of months when some of these insiders, some of these leakers apparently saw footage of it or have heard things about it uh, back in November or December of last year saying, wow, this game seems really ahead of schedule. And now we're continuing to hear these things as time goes on. That to me is nothing but good news. At the same time, that's not going to mean that this game is going to launch in a perfectly polished and flawless state. I don't think there is such a thing as a flawless launch in gaming anymore. Uh, just going off of how many releases and how many games drop and there's just major issues or at least some issues here and there. I don't think there's any perfect launch anymore, but definitely should be a major step up from what we've seen the past few years. Now, getting into some of these general leaks, first up here, Ralph was actually talking about some like overview leaks between Call of Duty just as a franchise in general that we could see start and sort of be initiated with MW2. Uh, and that is like this incorporation of the COD universe into every new game. As we know, pretty much everything is canon now, thanks to the Warzone storyline. All these games are sort of interconnected at this point. And apparently going forward, these games are going to have like that Disney Plus-esque menu where you see MW2, Black Ops 4, MW3, Cold War, all the COD games sort of lining up there that you can go through, you can buy, you can download, whatever the case may be. Especially once we get to the whole point when Microsoft is in charge and we have Game Pass, it makes even more uh, sense to have that in there. But they're essentially trying to create this uh, general overview and hub for Call of Duty within their games, but also start to add in things like global calling cards and emblems and avatars and even stats that would transfer from each game uh, to the next one, regardless of if it's an Infinity Ward game, if it's a Treyarch game, a Sledgehammer game, doesn't matter. Also, Ralph did mention that they are reportedly looking into, keyword looking into, incorporating NFTs in some way. I don't really care if they do or don't. I don't understand the whole thing as is, nor do I really care, but it is something that they are apparently looking into that they might try and force into the game. We'll have to wait and see. Outside of that, Ralph also talked about one other pretty important thing, 
A few days back, some footage surfaced from an Infinity War developer that showed a soldier running into, you know, a battlefield area, taking cover and getting taken out. And it was, you know, basically just showing off the animations. And everyone jumped to the conclusion that, oh my goodness, this is MW2 gameplay. He's leaked it. They're teasing MW2 gameplay right here. That is not the case. Ralph actually ended up replying to this saying, hey, don't freak out. This is just an animation test. It's not MW2 footage. It's not MW2 gameplay. So just a heads up, all these leaks coming out saying, oh, this is MW2 footage. This is what the game's gonna be like. Not true. Also, if this was MW2 gameplay, it wouldn't exist anymore. It would have been struck so fast. Activision does not mess around when it comes to early footage being uh, leaked out. They take that stuff down so quickly, which is almost a fault to them because it confirms that it's real, right? Anytime there's a questionable leak out there, you can use the Activision test. Oh, did it get striked? Nope. Oh, okay. It's still up. They didn't, they didn't take it down. They didn't issue a copyright strike. Okay. It's probably not real. Oh, it got struck in five minutes. Yeah, it's, it's probably real. That's, that's the test there that you can sort of run on content like that. So there is no MW2 footage out there to the public. Apparently some insiders and some leakers have seen stuff. That's how we get some of this information, but to the public, to the general internet, that stuff does not exist right now. And if it does, like I said, it'll get a copyright strike. Now, the Ghost of Hope also recently talked about some DMZ information, some new leaks regarding that and its connection to Warzone 2, which actually is totally opposite of what we've heard before with its connection to the new Warzone title. You know, before we were talking a lot about how different leaks and different rumors were saying uh, DMZ and Warzone are basically going to share the same map. They'd be sort of interconnected in that way, kind of like Spec Ops and even Ground War with the whole Verdansk area. But that doesn't seem to be the case, at least according to the Ghost of Hope. Recently, he was talking about how DMZ currently has at least four different maps being made for it. And the Warzone 2 map is going to be entirely separate and not connected to the DMZ maps at all. Uh, these four different maps have different designs entirely for each of them. Some of them are more like open world, open spaces. Other ones are more concentrated and specifically focusing on certain areas. So a lot of diversity between the maps themselves, and those won't be tied into uh, Warzone 2. In fact, there's different information on Warzone 2 that's sort of starting to surface there with the maps that we're going to be talking about in a different video later on this week. So stick it here for that. But yeah, that's definitely some surprising news uh, saying that DMZ and the maps there at least won't be interconnected with Warzone 2. Uh, the Ghost of Hope also goes on to say that DMZ sort of purposes towards a different style of play entirely from multiplayer or Warzone. And that's why they're separating these things essentially because Warzone 2's map design is gonna be catered to Warzone's style of play where it's obviously very hectic and it's more Battle Royale-esque. Whereas DMZ is all about playing tactically, surviving, looting, and scavenging, stuff like that. That's a little bit more uh, fine-tuned for that than it would be for Warzone per se. So definitely some very interesting information there. So yeah, with all that being said, those are the new leaks, the new rumors regarding Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer in DMZ and sort of what we've heard recently about that stuff. And that's going to wrap things up for today. If you enjoyed the video, let me know by dropping a like on it. It really does help the channel grow. And of course, if you're new here or if you have not subscribed yet, every single day I got you covered with all things going on in COD. News, updates, loadouts, tips, leaks, rumors, you're gonna find it all right here. So feel free to subscribe with those notifications turned on. That way you can always guarantee you are up to date. As always, if you wanna check out any of my partners, be sure to use code IMMORTAL for a spicy discount on all SCUF, G Fuel, Gamer Advantage, and Control Freak products. And the links for all those can be found down in the description below. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.